everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. John. <laughs> Grandfather, is that you? I feel your spirit in the room. John, John. <laughs> I like the casual. I like the casual John Baptiste. I like this. Yeah, spring is is coming. Look, I, same I, here. I'm, Look, I got the I got the, I got the spring pastel colors going on, man. I like that. It's yeah. feeling good out there too, right? Yeah. Oof. I can't I can't, I can't wait to actually get out there because it's this Friday. Just to remind everybody out there, this Friday we have a special show. My guest is Dr. Anthony Fauci because we are marking one full, pardon the expression, damn year. <laughs> of doing the show without an audience, and I thank you for thank you so much for being here every night for a year. You're oh, a rock. Yeah, absolutely. I I love it. Love being with you and the people in this time. It's wonderful. You got anything, you got you got anything to lift the spirits of people as they're holding on those last few white knuckling it these last few months? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. Folks, earlier in the show, before the commercial break, I was talking about the Republican strategy to talk less about COVID relief and more about Mr. Potato Head's, shall we say, stimulus package. But that's just Republican plan A. Plan B is to shatter the foundations of democracy. And they've had some successes but they did suffer one minor setback on Monday when the Supreme Court declined to take up the ex-president's final bid to nullify the 2020 election results. Oh, such a shame. That case was our last chance to hear Rudy Giuliani's dramatic closing farts. Of course, some Republicans are still spreading the lie that the election was stolen by voter fraud, and while courts found no fraud, the GOP did find alarming levels of voter. Biden won thanks in part to record voter turnout. And in response, Republicans have introduced 253 bills in 43 states that restrict voting access. Although if those bills pass, I heard it's only because they got votes from dead legislators dumping ballots in the middle of the night on Dominion voting machines with the help of their IT guy, Ghost Hugo Chavez. This week, a new law restricting voter access was signed by Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds Seen here demonstrating proper technique for smooching the ex-presidents behind. Republicans say the law is aimed at defending the integrity of the state's election system. How does it defend that integrity? By cutting Iowa's early voting period from 29 to 20 days and ordering polls to close at 8 p.m. instead of 9 p.m. Oh, yeah, you gotta. Because 8 to 9 is the frauding hour. Crooks refuse to start their crime spree until they see how Katie Couric's doing as the host of Jeopardy. But the biggest attack on voting rights is happening in Georgia. Biden narrowly won the state, which terrified Republicans. So on Monday, the GOP-led state Senate passed a new bill repealing no-excuse absentee voting and requiring Georgians who vote by mail to submit a photo ID and have their ballot signed by a witness. They're clearly just trying to make this impossible. Honey, I'm mailing our ballots. Do we have any stamps, witnesses, affidavits? Cheek swabs, spare kidneys, or toenail clippings from a Yeti? This is widely seen as a desperate reaction to the rise of black male in voting in 2020. Still, could backfire on the GOP, considering that in 2020, mail in ballots were cast by 450,000 Republicans. That's right. To stop voting, they're willing to disenfranchise their own voters. But you know what they say you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. Even more if it's going to be an egg whites only. We'll be right back with New York Times bestselling author Emmanuel Acho.